It's the first day of eighth grade, and I sit where I always sit, in the back. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Oliver, stands at the doorway talking with the assistant principal, Mrs. Watley. I feel them looking at me. When you're like me, you get a sixth sense about this kind of thing. I pretty much know what's about to happen next, so I close the notebook I've been drawing in and slip it into my backpack. And then I'm surprised, because it isn't my name Mrs. Watley calls out. It's Noah's. All eyes shift to the front of the class, where Noah Samuel sits. As he grabs his things, his dark, wavy hair falls across his eyes. A pencil slides off his desk and scuttles across the floor. I want to say something like, Don't move, Noah. That's not fair. But I don't. I slink down in my seat instead. Noah doesn't pick up his pencil. He passes Carmen and gives me a quick, anxious look on his way to the door. I don't know how this happened, Noah, Mrs. Watley says quietly when he reaches her. Everyone knows what she means, except for maybe the couple of new kids. Bye, Noah, I whisper to myself as the door closes, revealing the poster of the Eiffel Tower on the back of it. My eyes meet Carmen's before I look away. Through the classroom door, I hear Mrs. Watley's thick heels clicking down the hallway and imagine Noah's front tooth chewing into his bottom lip as he keeps up beside her. Later, from our lunch table, I sneak a glance over at Noah. He sits at the nerd table next to his friend Ethan, who's about a foot taller than Noah and looks like a high schooler already. Noah did Odyssey of the Mind in elementary, and I hear he's building his own actual robot now. Ethan's not particularly smart or nerd-like, but he's been Noah's friend forever, and the other nerds accept him because his size means he's a bully repellent for all of them. Quit staring at him. Nicholas says from beside me. I lower my eyes. I'm not staring. Freak, you are. Don't call me a freak. I say it low and quiet inside. He's going to notice, Nicholas says. And I really don't want his Neanderthal friend coming over here.